Question number one. A good startup is one that delivers value for all stakeholders. The most important attribute for someone who is creating a startup is resilience. Um, resilience in the sense that it will always be hard and you just need to really believe in your idea and move forward because there will always be people that tell you it doesn't work. The better the startup is, the more people will tell you it doesn't work, actually. Key skills in a startup team are? Changing over time based on demand from the market. Uh, in the end, you need to have the same vision between the, the core team and you need um, all the skills you need at the time, really. That, that really changes. You'll start with more product, then more sales changes. Innovation is for startups like um, air for humans. <laughs> really um, necessary for life, but not really the the reason for living. Um, and that's the same thing for startups. If I had to get funding for my own startup, I would decide to. I'd have to talk to amazing number of people. Uh, the largest problem we see at the moment when talking to other entrepreneurs that are starting up is I talked to one angel investor and he didn't want to. But now, we talk to dozens and dozens of people when we started up. You need mm -hmm. to talk about the, your idea with lots and lots of people. The best way to promote a startup is? Word of mouth. The most frequent cause of a startup failure is? Running out of money. Anything else is just going into details. The main difference between German and European startups is? That's a hard one. Um, I think Germans tend not to be so public about their successes and so on. That's we're, we're, we're shy mm -hmm. and we don't talk as much about what we're doing and how grand and good we are. There are some people approaching now that are doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, but. We are probably as good or better as others, but others talk about themselves as if they were better. We're too shy. The last question is, startups are worth creating because? It's an amazing joyride. The best explanation came from Joe Kraus, founder of Excite. You wake up one morning and um, you think you will rule the world. And you wake up the next morning and you think you can just as well close down, you're fully finished. And really nothing at all changed from day one to day two. It's nothing changed, but that, that joyride changes each and every day.